Question 16. What is meant by V model? Answer. V model means verification and validation model and it is a modified version of the waterfall method. In V model developer and tester works parallel. The V model demonstrates the relationships between each phase of the development life cycle and its associated phase of testing. Question 17. What is meant by incremental model? Answer. The incremental model is an intuitive approach to the waterfall model. Multiple development cycles take place here, making the life cycle a multi-waterfall cycle. Cycles are divided up into smaller, more easily managed iterations. Each iteration passes through the requirements, design, implementation and testing phases. Question 18. What is meant by RAD model? Answer. RAD, Rapid Application Development, is a concept that products can be developed faster and of higher quality through requirements using workshops or focus groups, prototyping and early, reiterative user testing of designs, the reuse of software components, a rigidly paced schedule that defers design improvements to the next product version, less formality in reviews and other team communication. Question 19. What is meant by Agile Model? Answer. In Agile Model, the product or solution is first divided into features which need to be developed. If there are new features identified in the midst of complete product release it again gets planned across sprints. Agile sprint duration is decided based on feature to be developed. Every sprint goes through the phases of requirement, design, development and testing phase. The most important of the principles is customer satisfaction by giving rapid and continuous delivery of small and useful software. Question 20. What is meant by iterative model? Answer. An iterative life cycle model does not attempt to start with a full specification of requirements. Instead, development begins by specifying and implementing just part of the software, which can then be reviewed in order to identify further requirements. This process is then repeated, producing a new version of the software for each cycle of the model. Question 21. What is meant by spiral model? Answer. The spiral model is similar to the incremental model, but incorporates risk analysis. The spiral model has four phases, planning, risk analysis, engineering, and evaluation. A software project repeatedly passes through these phases in iterations, called spirals in this model. The baseline spiral, starting in the planning phase, requirements are gathered and risk is assessed. Each subsequent spiral builds on the baseline spiral. Requirements are are gathered during the planning phase. This model of development combines the features of the prototyping model and the waterfall model. The spiral model is intended for large, expensive, and complicated projects. Question 22. What is meant by Big Bang Model? Answer. The Big Bang Model follows no specific process and very little time is spent on planning. Even the customer is not sure about what exactly they want and the requirements are implemented on the fly without much analysis. This is typically used for small projects and not recommended for large or complex projects as it's a high-risk model. If the requirements are misunderstood in the beginning, you could get to the end and realize the project may have to be started all over again. Question 23. What is meant by prototype model? Answer. A prototype is a model or a program which is not based on strict planning, but is an early approximation of the final product or software system. A prototype acts as a sample to test the process. A prototype model focuses on developing the software little by little and tested in a real-time environment with the customers in mind. Question 24. What is meant by Capability Maturity Model? Answer. Capability Maturity Model is a benchmark for measuring the maturity of an organization's software process. It is a methodology used to develop and refine an organization's software development process. CMM can be used to assess an organization against a scale of five process maturity levels based on certain key process areas. KPA. It describes the maturity of the company based upon the project the company is dealing with and the clients. Each level ranks the organization according to its standardization of processes in the subject area being assessed. Question 25. What are the maturity levels in CMM? Answer. Initial, managed, defined, quantitatively managed, optimizing. Question 26. What are the types of prototype models? Answer. The patch-up prototype, non-operational prototype, first of a series prototype, selected features prototype. 
Question 27. What are the advantages and disadvantages of waterfall model? Answer. Advantages. This model is simple and easy to understand and use. It is easy to manage due to the rigidity of the model. Each phase has specific deliverables and a review process. In this model phases are processed and completed one at a time. Phases do not overlap. Waterfall model works well for smaller projects where requirements are very well understood. It allows for departmentalization and managerial control. As its linear model, it's easy to implement. Disadvantages. Software is delivered late in project. Delays discovery of serious errors. Difficult to integrate risk management. Difficult and expensive to make changes to documents swimming upstream. Significant administrative overhead. Costly for small teams and projects. If client want the requirement to be changed, it will not implemented in the current development process. Poor model for long and ongoing projects. Question 28. What are the advantages and disadvantages of V model? Answer. Advantages. Simple and easy to use. Each phase has specific deliverables. Higher chance of success over the waterfall model due to the early development of test plans during the life cycle. Works well for small projects where requirements are easily understood. Avoids the downward flow of the defects. Disadvantages. Very rigid and least flexible. Software is developed during the implementation phase so no early protein types of the software are produced. If any changes happen in midway, then the test documents along with requirement documents has to be updated. Question 29. What are the advantages and disadvantages of incremental model? Answer. Advantages. More flexible when adding or changing requirements. Easier to test and debug. Lowers initial delivery cost. Easier to manage risk because risky pieces are identified and handled during its iteration. Generates working software quickly and early during the software life cycle. Disadvantages. Each phase of an iteration is rigid and do not overlap each other. Problems may arise pertaining to system architecture because not all requirements are gathered up front for the entire software life cycle. Needs good planning and design. Needs a clear and complete definition of the whole system before it can be broken down and built incrementally. Question 30. What are the advantages and disadvantages of RAD model? Answer. Advantages. Reduces the development time and reusability of components help to speed up development. Easy to work if all functions are modularized. Quick initial reviews occur. Encourages customer feedback. Integration from very beginning solves a lot of integration issues. Disadvantages. Only system that can be modularized can be built using RAD. Requires highly skilled developers slash designers. High dependency on modeling skills inapplicable to cheaper projects as cost of modeling and automated code generation is very high.